Hey, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Aquarius. This is going to be for the rest of May 2021. Okay. Aquarius, 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 Aquarius. Let's see what we're looking at, my dears. Mirroring. I feel like this card's bigger than that card. Like, what the frig? Okay. Someone's OCD is kicking in. Alright, so... It's laid back. I definitely feel contemplation. You definitely need to let something go. There was a lesson here. I feel like it was learnt. There's something with the letter A. I don't know if that's saying you need to start fresh. Like A in, as in like the alphabet. One is in the numbers. You know what I'm saying? Like <clears throat> which I'd prefer you had a zero but To, to me, you learned it, or you're, like, realizing right now, like, oh, fuck. Like, shit. So, I'm not really sure what you're mirroring. That's way too many. I'm taking five. So, whatever that is, five is a number of massive change, okay? Change that's needed. So, I don't think it's going to be that positive. Yeah, heartbroken, deeply hurt, sad, separated, break, and feeling a loss, grieving, mourning. So, yeah, you and someone else, or you're mirroring your own, like, shadow side. Like, it's, I, I don't think it's you and someone else. Not this time. This is, like, literally, like, your shadow side or dark night of the soul or yeah see it's it's the side you don't want to see like you don't want to deal yeah exactly but the answer is no so if you're wondering see that makes sense if you're wondering if someone's feeling the same no no they're not this is an energy that didn't want to see something and now has no choice Someone didn't want to pick up on a lesson, okay? So you or someone else, it's clear. No, this other person is not mourning like you are. This other person is unawakened and it's one-sided piece of shit. I'm not going to lie to you. But see the snake, competition, clever, malicious, the other woman. See? I don't like it. Someone else had this vibe. It was either fire or water. I think it was Leo. Because it was the dark vibe of the darkness. See the darkness, the darkness. I don't like it. This is somebody who you're dealing with. I don't think it's you. It could be. I would normally not call you guys assholes. And if you're being an asshole, then you're a fucking asshole and I'm calling you out. I don't feel it that way, though. I feel more calming. It's almost like you're wondering, you know, um, are they hurt like I am? No, they're not. Someone's emotionally manipulating because this is water, water, crying. You're dealing with somebody who didn't want to see something, still that doesn't want to see something. And some of you, yeah, you should watch your back, I'm not going to lie. You're dealing with someone who's a little nasty. And you got a release, and then you got a karmic relationship, reminiscing, perception, learning from the past. So to me, this is not learning. This is the snake, okay? Somebody else that was with a snake is not learning about something and is wondering, are they hurt like I am? Nope, they're not. I hate to be so blunt, 
and so honest. It's such a clear message. Nope, they're not. And if they're acting like they are, the, the, and I know for a fact they are. They might be a little hurt, but they're not that much hurt because they're not learning their lesson. They're still trying, right, to stop somebody from letting go. Still not wanting to see something. Still not wanting to deal with something. And this is somebody else that's actually really hurt. So, yeah, no, you're dealing with an asshole, man or woman, that is still being a fucking asshole. Competition, clever, malicious, looking over the shoulder, the other woman, you know. Are you letting somebody go because there's somebody else in the picture? I feel like, I don't even feel like there was cheating. I feel like this is just somebody who hasn't fucking let go of someone. And somebody else is, this energy is releasing this. Yeah, see, justice in the tower. Bam. So someone is realizing. I don't, we'll see, I don't think they're realizing to the extent, I'm not going to lie to you. Because, like, this is the energy that's more sincere. Is it just me? Am I the only one that's really having a tough time here? Like, you're questioning somebody else's thoughts. Because you know better. That's, your gut is telling you something is off. Listen to your gut. You're dealing with a uh, saying here, feminine. Okay, it could be anybody. All right, and is still trying to decide how to come to peace, still trying to figure out how to work on this. See, see, it's just, ugh. And then with heartbroken, you got love and then the five of swords, right? So you're, you're questioning, does this person really actually love me that much? No. This energy is manipulating water, the two of cups, manipulating. Uh, see, they don't love you. It's unrequited. I, I mean, I'm putting that right here. I can't stress it enough that this is unrequited love blocking your future. No. This is somebody who is manipulating. It's emotional manipulation. I'm actually being told to do like a daily vibe here. So Aquarius, I'm going to start you guys over, which I don't want to do. But this is more of a collective read. So that's telling me. A majority of people are in the Aquarian energy right now. Thoughts. I know why this just happened. Because even last night, I almost did a read for you guys to talk about the emotional manipulation that was going on. And I didn't. I just got played. Spirit just played me. Alright, so... <clears throat> I'm not going to stay on this for too long. You're dealing with a situation here where... There's someone sincere. And is really wondering, this: does this other person really truly love me? Okay, and no. It's, it's one-sided. This defeat, Five of Swords, is all about manipulation. Okay? They're manipulating your emotions, what you guys once had. Okay? Um, so I don't know if you're still contemplating, do I let this go? To me, you're contemplating like, you know, you're contemplating the emotional aspect of things right now because somebody's giving you a dose of emotional bullshit and trying to keep you exactly where they want you. Does that make sense? 
then like I said, like this normally would be like you're feeling the same about someone. And I knew that this was more you were questioning, does somebody truly love me? No, the answer is no. They do not. They probably love what you guys had at one point, but with the Five of Swords and the Ace of Cups reversed, this is emotional manipulation. You have someone who is sincere and you have another one that's just straight up fucking asshole. Okay? This is somebody who comes around and uses emotional manipulation to keep you where they want you. You're picking up on some type of lesson. You're now picking up on something because you must be getting, this is a situation where you feel like with a lesson here that you're never right. This, this energy always makes you feel wrong. Lack of insecurity. You can't do good enough. You're not going to be good enough. You're never going to change. This energy broke you because you're broke. You're actually upset and now you're seeing something. You're now realizing, am I being emotionally manipulated? Because now you're, there has to be a lot of tears. This is somebody who cries wolf. At one point, I guarantee there was a lot of love and there's a lot of things you shared. But right now, this is emotional manipulation. It's one-sided. They do not love you the way that you love them. And it sucks. And this is somebody who broke you. This is somebody who's consistently used emotional manipulation to keep you in the picture for however long. And now that you're releasing this situation, you're kind of like, you are you are learning from the past. Learning from the past. You are learning more about this person because you're seeing a different side of this person. It's a side you don't want to see. I'm not going to lie to you. It's definitely a side you don't want to see. But it's 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 clear you're seeing it. It sucks, man. This is the type of energy where it, it will it just what goes around comes around. They're trying to get you to see the old memories. They're trying to get you to reminisce. They're trying to get you to be exactly where they're at. They don't want to lose control. This is somebody you're dealing with a feminine that's controlling. And, and they control through emotion. And I'm telling you, this energy makes you feel like you're not worth it. You're constantly saying, I can't fucking win. I can't fucking win. No, you can't. You're right. But here's the thing. You don't You don't need to. You're, you're not the one doing anything wrong. This is an energy that broke you. And I hate to say it. See, we all want to think it's the man or well, it's the woman in stories. This is a straight up feminine that's been emotionally manipulating a situation. Competition, all because somebody else came into the picture or they just don't want competition. If it's just you two and it's already done and over, they just don't want competition. That's it. Doesn't mean there's somebody else. But there could be because this is somebody who's extremely clever, malicious, which is the Five of Swords, looking over the shoulder. The other woman, this is somebody who wanted to win not winning, so now they're emotionally manipulating you. They want you to feel what they're feeling, what mirroring. It's fucking sad. I'm sorry that some of you guys are going through this. Now we have another energy. Yeah, see, you're straight up fucking fighting. Now we have another energy, because it's competition. Here we go. All right? Somebody who wants to win, like I said. That is still not done being malicious. Okay? Causing fights, bickering. Like I said, you can't win with this energy. This is an energy, like I'm telling you, like I don't know how many times you tell yourself, I can't fucking win. I can't fucking win. I can't fucking win. I can't fucking win. No, you fucking can't. You will the minute you physically, you know, get on your canoe. Because this one's not getting off the douche canoe. It sucks. This person, oh my gosh. I hope I don't bump into energy like this anytime soon. This is somebody who wants you to mirror them, wants you to feel sad, heartache, because they are emotionally manipulating you. Deeply hurt, separation, breakup, feeling the loss, grieving. You probably put your foot down and left a scenario or you're about to. Okay. This is somebody who didn't want to see something. Didn't want to take the blindfold off. Didn't want to be in tune with their own emotions didn't want you to be in tune with your own emotions because this is somebody who had control over your emotions. 
this is somebody who wants you to feel the sorrow, the depth, the breakup. And it's like, you already felt this. And now this person's like, hold up. I want you to feel what I'm feeling. No, you little snake, go feel that by yourself. Go slither elsewhere. Because now you have no choice but to get in tunes. You have been emotionally, you want somebody to be like, oh, do you remember what it was like? Do you remember this? Do you remember when I gave birth? Do you remember? Blah, blah, blah? Okay. Yep. Nope. This is someone trying to get you to emotionally change your mind. And they're manipulating it through emotions. They do not love you like you love them. And it sucks. It sucks. This is somebody who is playing victim. This is victim mentality. Victim mentality all day. So you, so they can still control you. And I, I can't stress that enough. I don't want to repeat myself. Whomever was in this situation with this person, you're now like, fuck this. I'm learning a lesson. This one is not. And she is still going to create a shit show. She is still going to bicker. She's not going to let you win or she's not going to let somebody else win. And the thing is, this isn't about winning. Here's the thing about karmic relationships. Even if another woman or a man stepped into this, it's not about the other woman or the other man. This is somebody who's smartened the fuck up and realized this is not what I want. And this is somebody who can't just accept that. She has to put the blame on something else. See what I'm saying? She would never take her own blame. This is You're dealing with someone who's clever. She would never take the blame. She would play victim. She's always right. And the other person's always wrong. Always. I, I can't even tell you how many... That's all I hear in my head. You must say it all the time. I can never win. No, you fucking can't with this energy. And the minute she... Because this energy knows you're releasing. So it's, it's not going to get any prettier. I'm not going to lie to you. It's just not. This one consistently is going to continuously cause fights because they're not learning. And now you have a whole nother energy here. Look at that. Letting go of this scenario. Moving forward. Definitely contemplating. Yeah, working on themselves. Got another eight interference. Realizing, you know, there could have been a whole puppet thing. If it, there's somebody on strings here. You got two eights. You're just right now, you're focused on yourself and work. Your hobbies, what you do. It's more work, work, work. You're not letting anything interfere. Yeah, see, so you, you probably are aware that there's something tricky going on here. You have a new stat. This moon cycle is going to kick your ass a little bit. You're taking the you're taking your power back is what you're doing, which is kick ass fucking energy. Understanding, you might be being guided. You can feel it. You see, you're starting to understand what's what's happening. Look at that. Something's going to go in your favor. The balancing of the scales. You're dealing with somebody who has a victim mentality. This is positive. This is getting on track. I mentioned this the other day and I posted something about... I even posted it on YouTube, but let me just go to my images. Mercury is headed, <clears throat> headed into retrograde, okay? Saturn's also going retrograde. Pluto's already in retrograde. We have a full moon eclipse as well as a new moon eclipse coming up in Saturn and it's square Uranus. May and June are going to be chaotic. Okay, doors are slamming shut. People are being exposed and lines in the sands are being drawn. This is somebody drawing the line. Something going in their favor because they're doing it right. It's, they're also being guided. This is slamming the door shut. This is lines being drawn. This is deception coming out. You, and it's, it doesn't even have to come out point blank in your face that you see it. You're learning. This person will understand. Or to me, you're finally understanding what somebody really is all about. What somebody's been doing. Because you, you're guided in a new direction. You're finally realizing someone kept you back. And you're like... 
this is like an epiphany. You're finally realizing the scenario that you've been in. So, for real, yeah, you're starting to follow your intuition, your destiny. Look at that, the star and the wheel of fortune and the eight of wands. You're about to reach out to somebody. Holy shit. Or you're just getting messages from the divine. This is you following your gut, your destiny, doing what's right, not letting your gut let you down anymore. Literally following the stars. This is the wheel of fortune. This is a whole new turn of events. Something going in your direction. The balancing of the scales. A blessing in disguise. And you got communication coming at you. Or you're going to send communication in a different direction. But look at you. Bam. You're in a whole new direction here. This is, oh, what I was going to say. My gosh, I got distracted. And I wrote on like Snapchat and I believe YouTube too. Okay. And I was like, bring it. Like, this is the energy where I know I've been in situations like this and I didn't want anything brought to me. I'm like, eh, you know, and it's like how my life turned out so differently and how beneficial it is. And I mean, I'm telling you, if I have anything I'm holding on to that needs to be fucking douched out of my life, bring it. Take it from me. Take it. Make it go away. I'm done. If I can't handle it and I'm realizing now I can't handle it, fucking swipe it from me so fucking fast. I'm not kidding. Will it hurt? Yep. Will I be crying? Will I be upset? Will I feel like I don't know what I'm doing? I can't believe... Yep. You're going to question all sorts of shit. But then all of a sudden you're going to get your fucking power back and you're going to just fucking kick ass, okay? In another direction. I love these type of energies. As harsh as they may be, this is what has been needed from what we've been seeing for months. I started reading this, I think, last spring or early fall or some like, no, I'd say more like summertime, early spring. No, summertime, early fall. I started reading this energy about this feminine, this group of feminine energies that has been sticking around for all the wrong reasons, okay? So, bring it. This is somebody who actually causes drama in your life. And I think you're just seeing that this person is the one that has caused drama, the one that has interfered between you and other people, you in new directions, you in what you want to do, because they have had some type of control and they got their tr control through emotional manipulation. And how that happens is that you get to a point where they break you. They break you down. And then they make you feel insecure and you don't even realize it. And then you feel like you're not good enough to even go in another direction. And then all of a sudden you take your fucking power back and bam, you're a brand new person. And this person has no choice but to be like, to deal with whatever they need to deal with. And that's it. This is manipulation. When I see this, I don't even feel bad. I, I, I'm not going to be like, okay, well... Maybe you didn't know what you were doing. Fuck that. You know exactly what the fuck you were doing. And now this energy over here is seeing it. So any of you fucking with somebody emotionally, you're going to get yours. And I don't care saying that as a reader. I don't. You're going to get yours. Because it's so shitty that you broke someone to that point. So I hope someone about is about to step into your life after you've been... That's turmoil, okay? That's true heartbreak. When somebody realizes that's how they've been being treated and they're just seeing it. So I hope someone steps into this person's life and it's going to happen. And it's going to happen quicker than you think. And someone's going to turn this energy around and you're going to end up in a relationship one day where you build each other up instead of break each other fucking down. And that's, that's that. Okay. And this energy will figure it out on their own. They're, they're ha they have no choice. Spirit's going to put them in a dark night of the soul. It's just somebody who knew what was going down, acted like they didn't. And in a way they just didn't want to see it because they always thought they would win. It's card of winning and they, they got defeated. Why? 
because they emotionally have been manipulating somebody. And they're probably being like, if somebody else came into the picture, you're leaving me because of her? You're leaving me because of him? No. No. Not at all. Someone else could have came into the picture to show this person what it's like to build somebody up instead of fucking break them down. That's how it works in life. Everyone steps in and plays some role into somebody's life. And I know it's happened with me and I appreciate it when it happens. Whether it feels humiliating, whether I can't step out of my comfort zone when it's said and done. I appreciate that energy. And I'm talking, I even did it with my catalyst. Still love him for what I went through because if I didn't go through that, I mean, I don't really like him. But I appreciate the lesson that was learned and, and what that did for me. Okay. This is more of like this is somebody who fucked with someone's destiny and you just you just don't do that. And this energy is being guided. You might want to watch um I think it was Capricorn. Anywho, congratulations. Because what's in store for you next is your destiny. Is literally your destiny. I just want one, please. Coffee cup. Yeah, meeting up, conversating, savoring the moment, hanging out with friends, feeling uplifted. See what I'm saying? I knew that would come into your life if it hasn't already. Somebody that's going to be there that will uplift you. And this... This is, I'm going to tell you right now, this isn't going to go away easily, okay? Because this is somebody who is realizing they are losing the battle. Yeah, this energy is just frustrated, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, listening to the ego, jealousy. Hopefully, you know, hanging out with friends, moving on. Um, they are going to at one point really bleed, like the like they realize it that they held on for such shitty reasons or for wrong reasons. All right, so there's a transition here. There's endings that will bring new beginnings into their life too. Eventually, this person right now has no choice but to go in the dark night of the soul. They have no choice but to, you know, close the door. Outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events, can't get out of the head. Girl with a snake, again, you know, charming, trying to charm, being charmed, narcissistic energy, not wanting to put up boundaries or just with their own boundaries. And again, snake, the other woman looking over the shoulder. It's just, that will, that will subside, guys, okay? I will tell you, though, the arguing is not going to stop for a little while. Only you can block that, and I don't mean you have to physically block, okay? It's just, this is like the world. It's like the cycle, right? Like, close, you know, you're starting to understand you're going in a new direction, right? So go in that other direction. Take two steps forward. Don't take any steps back backwards. This doesn't have to completely wrap up in order for you to move forward. Because this is going to take some time because you're dealing with somebody who's not accepting something yet. So I hope that makes sense. So continue. In your head, the door is shut. And if you know in your head you're starting to understand and it's time for you to move forward, make the decision, stay disciplined, and just go. Two feet forward, go. This will wrap itself up. A lot of people think that we need to wrap up old lessons and old stuff before we can have new beginnings. Not necessarily. If you're ready to release, you know what's going on, you understand there's been interference, you understand this person's emotionally manipulating you, like things are coming together, follow your gut. The stars are guiding you. The wheel of fortune is here. It's destined. It's in your chart. And there's communication coming. You're about to meet up with somebody, a friend, conversating, someone who's going to uplift you. So to me, you, you bang on. Like, what's that? What's that saying? Like, bang, dead bang. You just, you bang on. That doesn't make sense either. There's something like, um, you're ready. 
You're ready to go. Balls to the wall, you're out. You don't have to necessarily, in your head, this is already closed. Don't, this energy will keep you continuously stuck if you don't draw that line right now and move forward. And to me, you're borderline because you're just seeing it. You're just experiencing it. It just went down recently, right? You're releasing. So yes, two, step, two steps forward. Don't, don't turn around and let this energy, because this energy is going to try to break you again because they tried and it didn't work, so they're going to try again. This is not going to subside right now. It's going to be a lot of arguing, a lot of bicker, a bickering. It's, it's just not. Draw the line. Draw the line. Move forward. Honest to God. Stop something else. Something that's more uplifting. Something that's more positive. Something that brings you happiness. Okay? Okay. <clears throat> yeah, see, you're, you're loving something else. So you know you're going in a new direction. Or there's going to be a new job. You know something's over. Yeah, see, so mentally... Mentally, you know you're going in a new direction. So even if I was to put this dead in the middle, this is actually telling me this energy, because again, your back is turned, right? Drawing the line. Back is turned. This energy gets it too. This energy understands. The King of Cups represents love. Loving themselves. Loving, you know, is going in a new opportunity. So this energy knows that this energy, this person is going in a new direction, a new job, whatever it may be, okay? They are fully aware. could be a woman. could have been two women. Who knows, okay? That somebody else is getting the offer. They're out of the picture, not following their intuition, secrets revealed. It's a whole new world. This energy now sees it, but is pissed. This is energy of being pissed. This arguing is not going to stop yet. So... It might last a little while, okay? Yeah, see, it's still it's still tricky. They're just watching. This is this is not manifesting. Okay, this is this is tricky energy right here. This is the snake, it's it's um they're trying to figure out a way to still I almost got fuck shit up, but yeah, see to still win. How do I open the door again? So this is somebody that might be like, fine. I mean, it's dead. You got the, the, the death in the world. But this is somebody who's still... concocting a fucking plan. See, not really lying. They're pissed... That they didn't get a second chance. See, they're still lying. Look at all this nasty, ugly fucking energy. Sad, not telling the truth, lying, no second chances. They uh, they just wanted to win. They're still trying to lie. How do I get that second chance? Not going to happen. How do I get back? It's just... You got to be careful. And I said that in the beginning of the read. This energy is not done. Like, they know it's over, but they're not done. This is kind of revengeful energy. I don't like that. Let me just throw a couple cards on that so you can kind of have a little heads up. Stabbed in the back, heartache, pain, shocking attack. Yeah, see, that's... I'm telling you, it's like they're planning something. I don't... Oh, Jesus. It's like this energy wants to get back. See, yeah, this is strategizing. They still want to win. See, this isn't good. So please draw that fucking line in the sands, okay? Because they're trying to figure out how to get back at you. Even if you think this person is not revengeful, you wait. 
Right now, I think you only see the emotional manipulation. You're about to see someone's true colors because something is dead and over and they are fucking not happy. Acting like the victim. But they played, they were the ones that played the game, so I don't know what that means. Okay, so. <clears throat> yeah, see, they're not. <clears throat> They're not saying something. Yeah, Cuz, Princess of Wands. Yeah, still trying to figure something out. I'm going to pull from this deck one more time and then I'm going to wrap it up. Just know that they're still... They're still up to something. Yeah, see, the answer is yes. They're still up to something. Yeah, see, they're going to they're gonna make their way back. I don't think this is this person realizing it's over and they're going back to someone from the past or somebody came back because they're still manifesting. There's still manipulation. This is, this is revengeful energy. So they might take it out on a, uh, a feminine if this person's involved with somebody. So you might have like some chick hitting you up, you know, hate to say it, baby drama mama. Remember like when we were like, I went through that years and years ago, it was just ridiculous. Somebody who just is not over it, is putting the blame on you, still trying to strategize, figure out ways to almost get back at you or this person. And I'm telling you, I don't know if this person would even see it, so... I don't know where that comes into play, but if this person reaches out to them or whomever you're dealing with, yeah, sudden change, shocking news, it like upheaval, like it's, I'm telling you, like it's, yeah, see, many decisions, options, stringing along, one night stand. This person is, whether this energy realizes it, this person is out for revenge in a way. I, um, let me just confirm something. Take a sip of my damn coffee. And if it's not revenge, it's just somebody realizing somebody's going in a new direction. It's like shocking. It's out of the blue, you know. But the thing is, it's still questionable because with a magician, it's tricky. And then you're having the seven cups. Someone's still trying to strategize a plan. So if it's not revenge on him and not revenge on the other woman, there's still something here that they are plotting. And it's not really telling me what it is. But I'm giving you heads up right now that that energy is fucking plotting. There's a feminine that is plotting. Okay? So if it doesn't, if there's no baby mama drama and that type of bullshit that you should not even be involved in anymore. <clears throat> then they realize that somebody is back in their life. And it's shocking. And this, do they feel stabbed in the pat back? Yeah, but for the wrong reasons, if that makes sense. Like I said, this is somebody who wants to blame somebody else for something that ended, and it, it doesn't work that way. Whatever ended was between you and this other person. It had nothing to do with the third person. That third person comes in and, and shines the light on things, maybe, but at the end of the day, people make their own decisions. And ultimately, you're not ever really leaving somebody because of somebody else. <clears throat> There's other reasons. And that's, that's the fact, facts of things, facts of life. So again, for some of you, when it's not so harsh, this is still somebody who realizes that there, there is somebody else and they do feel stabbed in the back and attacked and all that. But I'm telling you, this energy, 
of this feminine is still plotting, researching, plotting. It's still revengeful energy. So if it's not going towards the other woman, they're, they're still plotting something when it comes to him. And I'm telling you, I don't, I don't think the masculine quite sees that yet. And others of them see it and they know it, they can feel it because their intuition is here. They're now using their intuition. Okay, so it looks like here's the bottom line too. You're being guided. That tells me right now you have nothing to fear. Scales, balancing of the scales going in your direction. You have nothing to fear. This person will get what they deserve if there's a divorce, if there's stuff like that going down, if you have to give money or it's the end of a business situation. Like they're only going to get what they deserve by law. So even if they're plotting to get more, or I'm telling you, this is someone who's manipulative. I'll take a lot more than you think I will. I'm, I'm telling you, this person is now going to play dirty. And if you haven't picked up on it yet, it's, it's manipulation. Well, you know, at one point I wanted this, but now I think I want that. So not only are they fucking with you emotionally, again, with the cups, okay, all emotionally. They're also, this is a, a card of tricky. Someone's tricky. Clever, snakeish. Snake, snake, snake. I'll see if I can get something with this seven of cups or what's on the like what's peaking on the top of their brain, but it's not just one thing, okay? It's multiple things. Again, five of swords. It's just manipulating any way they can because they didn't win. You're moving forward, and they are pissed. They're going to manipulate. They're not going to tell me exactly what it is, but they're not done. Yeah, see, they're pissed. Again, they didn't win. Lying, not getting a second chance, seven of swords, lies. Like, okay. So, anywho, I mean, I can keep going and keep going. I'm telling you right now, this energy is still plotting. They're still manipulating. It is what it is. Draw the damn line. You're doing the right thing. You're following your gut. There's something destined here. Something's going in your direction. This is the Wheel of Fortune. This is X marks the spot in the chart. This is like the best you can have. You're going to have energy around you if you don't already know this person, a friendship. You're going to feel more uplifted. You're going to start talking to other people. You're starting to understand. It does suck. You're questioning things now. You're really giving you all when you're on work. But now you're like, I'm not letting anybody interfere. So you're probably like all about work right now. But please find that balance, okay? You are letting go, all right? But you're still in the midst of dealing with somebody who likes to mentally manipulate you and emotionally manipulate you yes they clearly know you're going in a different direction but they're also blaming somebody else instead of taking the blame for what they've done and how they got themselves here so be careful everyone over here congratulations take two steps forward you can start a brand new cycle you can because this one's not going to close out for a little while. So be truthful and honest with yourself and go in a new direction. This will eventually close out. You may be looking at like another five months before this fully closes out. So yes, be happy. Go make new friends. Hang out with new people. Because this energy is not done playing games. Okay? Okay. I love you guys. I hope you have a kick-ass rest of May. And, and take care of yourself. You, you have amazing, an amazing path in front of you. This is like the X on your chart. It's just time. And it could be around Aquarius, Pisces. Like the X in your chart. It's either like where your Saturn is or it's right near your Aquarius or Pisces. 
possibly Libra and Virgo. <clears throat> this is your time to shine. I mean, it's no question. It's beautiful. It's a whole new world. It, you definitely took your power back. And I, I hope there's somebody in your life that will continue to build you and make sure if you would ever get into another relationship, you build that person and don't take what broke you in this relationship to a new relationship. Because that other person that comes into somebody's life is has already experienced probably brokenness. You, does that make sense? Like you'd be on a brand new path with somebody new. Same experiences, same things, different time frames. You both share wisdom. You're both ready. Not one person would just get this. This is like bumping into your soulmate, meeting the one, destined events, fate playing out. Okay? All right, y'all. Take it back now. Take it back now. What song is that? Take it back now. And bounce. Or is it in hop? I don't know. I just feel like you're going to get a burst of energy. Okay. Again, draw the line. This energy. You're going to be dealing with this. I guarantee this won't fully close out. Probably for a good five months. At least three. So just be kind. I know it's hard to be kind to somebody who's, you know, is doing stuff on purpose. But if you're in the right here, this will, this flame, whatever this is, this desire, this hatred, like whatever, manipulation, it will burn out. You know? It really is positive. So, just want to give you guys a heads up there. You're going in a really good direction, especially if you're getting out of something like this. And even if this isn't a marriage, this could have been someone you were dating that fucked with you. You know, and you just, you had enough and it's time to get out. It really is just however it is for you. There's a strong saying that there's a feminine here, but it could be a masculine that's more in feminine energy, you know? However, this rolls for you guys. All I know is that this is positive. You're letting go. The balancing of the scales is here. You're finally following your destiny. I feel like you've waited for this. I'm not going to lie to you. I feel like you've waited for this way before this even happened. Like, this feels right. Like, this is part of your your soul, your soul family, your soul group. Like, you've waited for this. I don't know if it's a dream, a wish. You're getting it. I love you guys. Bye.